What's up guys, me and Zach are gonna be building this new desk for our little uh, voiceover room. Well, I'm gonna put you in a time lapse and then you'll just uh, see how it turns out. <laughs> All right guys, so before we get started, I wanna go over and show you guys the boxes that we have here. So first we have the, well, we don't know what this box is, but we have a cable management tray. Also have the, the legs for the desk right here. And then here's the tabletop. So Zach's opening up what the box is in this here right now. We got feet. Feet. We got feet. Oh, they're rollers. They're rollers? Maybe we'll see where these go, but um, yeah, just follow along. I'm sticking you back on the tripod and we'll just get to it. So I had a bit of a change of heart. We're gonna be doing a little how-to video on how to build this flexi spot desk. So we just went ahead and, what you saw in the time lapse, we went ahead and set up the feet. So you have four of these E screws that you put onto the bottom of the leg. The last one we set up, the, it ended up being off level because these feet on the bottom here, they, they weren't all the way level. So you wanna make sure that, you're, that these are tight and at the very bottom whenever you do go to level this and set this table up. So you end up having a nice level desk. So next, we need to adjust this crossbar by loosening these two, these nuts right here to open it up and then we'll need to install it onto both legs to connect them together. All right guys, so we went ahead, we went ahead, loosened this middle of the crossbar, and then we installed two F screws onto this little bracket here. And yeah, so just two F screws from the top, you just screw these down like so. And that is step two. Now step three is gonna be these hyd this hydraulic the transmission right here. Rod. Sure. The transmission rod. Get it right, Zach. And yeah, so the transmission rod will come will come through this little hole on the left right here, and then it'll attach to the motor on the other leg there. Oh yeah, and then, so this slots in. So yeah, you have to twist this little bar here to line up to that, that shape inside. So once it's pushed in, looks good. Once you get this positioned in the right spot, then you have to tighten this little spot right here and also tighten this Allen key, this little Allen spot right here. Step five, we're going to install these little brackets on the bottom here so we can lay the tabletop onto this top portion of the desk. The next step that we did, we installed these little side brackets. The instructions had us take off one of these screws that we originally put on. So just take this one off, lay it on, then re-screw it back on with it on underneath that screw. And then you'll have these two little screws on the side too that will secure it to the side. Same thing on the other side, just pop the top one off here, reinstall it with this bracket underneath it, and then these two on the side. All right, so step six was to install this adapter holder. From what it looks like, you just put it on here like so. And then once the desk is on, it will kind of stay in place. So now our next step is going to be install the desktop onto the frame. So we're gonna either flip this over onto the desktop or we'll pick it up and drop it on, but uh, you'll see here in just a second. All right guys, we uh, went ahead and screwed on the legs to the table. We use D screws for this and you use a Phillips head and you just screw those on like so. On, there's four on each side. We had to adjust, you see on the time lapse, we had to adjust this bar here. We had to adjust the legs and the width to match the tabletop. So we had to unscrew that and then realign it. But um, once that's done, everything's good to go. Now we're gonna be installing these baffles. little baffles onto these little spots right here. And we're gonna be using what screws? B screws? B. B screws. B for, B for baffle screws on this spot right here. All right, so what we have here is controls. the controls. I'm debating which side we want so, to we put on this side or we can put it on the other side. Yeah, so what's cool is that you can install it on both sides so you can see there's some screws, there's some screw holes here 
and some screw holes down on that side. We're gonna figure out what side we're gonna put it on and then we will install it onto the table. Alrighty, so we're gonna call it a day for now. It's about time to leave, but we got a lot of progress done today. We're gonna go ahead and install this controller back in tomorrow morning um, and then get this desk wrapped up for you guys. All right, guys, it's the next day and we went ahead and drilled our own holes for these two screws in the back here. There's already one made for it on the bottom one, but you do have to drill in some of your own holes for these two back here. And then what we did as well, we actually ended up mounting this little um, holder bracket for this over here on the left and we had to take off the tabletop to adjust it. So what we did is we just used some zip dies to attach it to the crossbar right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the cables kind of in this spot right here so we can kind of manage them, move them off to the side. But um, the only other thing we didn't do is this tray right here for cable management. Um, realistically, we don't think there's gonna be any cables underneath this desk. So we're not gonna install that. But what you would need to do is you would need to make your own holes for the bottom screws right here if you wanted to put that wherever you wanted it to go on your desk. So that's about it. We're gonna flip it up and get it in the DIY room. Guys, that's gonna wrap up this build on the Flexi Spot desk right here. Hope you enjoyed the little tutorial on how to do it. Sorry that the desk is already a little messy since we went ahead and set it up right away to use it. The uh, finish of this, uh, sometimes it can, it can look a little fake when you're a little up close, but I mean, from a couple feet away, I'd say it looks pretty nice. The motor's a little loud, but you know, you're not gonna be adjusting it too much and this monitor is pretty heavy, so it might, might not be helping it out. Well guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video now. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video build guide on how to set up one of these Flexi Spot desks. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Peace.